Will filling up my tanks with diesel put me overweight? Let's talk about it, coming up. The first rule is never believe the scale of your shipper. First thing I did is brought this load of beer over to weigh it on the cat scale. Okay, now we can look at our ticket and we can see exactly what we weigh it on the steer axle, drive axle, tandem axle, and total weight. I had another video that talked about the Weigh My Truck app from Cat. I'll link it up above. Now I'm going to drive back around and I'm going to fuel. Get to play Ring Around the Rosie a couple times here. Obviously, I didn't drive this fast. Using the Pilot app, I started the pump remotely and I filled my tank. Just a side note, whenever you see the paper towel dispenser locked up like this, you're in a bad neighborhood. I added 144 gallons of diesel fuel and 5 gallons of DEF. Time to circle back around and weigh the truck again. Okay, now here's our weigh ticket. Now we're going to go ahead and do some math. Everybody likes math, right? All right, we got the tickets there together. Let's subtract the gross. 78080 minus 77020. And the calculator says that's 1060. We know that we added 144 gallons of diesel, 5 gallons of DEF, and it weighed 1060. Now we'll subtract what we added to the drive axles. We really didn't need a calculator for this one, but I used it anyway because I have such a nice visual presentation with it. 540 pounds. Okay, and now we will calculate the difference in our steer tires. 11,740 minus 11,220 equals 520. One important thing that is shown here is because of the positioning of the fuel tanks where they're at on the vehicle, you see half the weight that you add is going to be distributed to the steer tires and half the weight that you add is going to be distributed to the drive tires. This is important when we try to axle our weight. We need to know this. Okay, and the last two pieces of information you really need to be able to know to be able to solve this puzzle is DEF weighs approximately 9 pounds per gallon and diesel weighs approximately 7 pounds per gallon. If you use this, figure out how much weight you're adding. Remember to split the weight between your drive axle and your steer axle. You'll be able to determine how much fuel you can put in the vehicle without putting yourself overweight and getting a ticket. I hope this has been helpful. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll keep making these videos.